Welcome into edition, Friday edition of Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here on Locked on Sports Atlanta. Today on the show, hmm, how convenient the rookies of the year keep balling out, and we'll give some college football thoughts about this weekend. It's all next, Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, part of Locked on Sports Atlanta, and it starts now. We welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuck. We're here in Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head to YouTube.com. Put Locked On Sports Atlanta in that search browser when you get there. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. We are free and available on all your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five-star review. Then follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Hmm. You know, I said leave me a comment because there might be a few comments after this first part here today. So if you didn't see yesterday... The Falcons made a whole bunch of moves, and not just practice squad guys, but some things that didn't surprise me. Marlon Davidson, Jalen Mayfield, John Fitzpatrick, Isaiah Oliver all went to injured reserve, meaning that they're going to miss the first four games of the regular season. Oh, look at this. Look who else ended up on IR. The guy who just had a small cleanup, nothing to see here, easy peasy, can be done anytime because there's nothing to it procedure and then goes on the pup list and come back anytime and then magically showed up at the end of training camp, played in the final preseason game, but then all of a sudden it's time for the regular season. It's, oh, my arm, my arm's broken, my arm's broken. Deion Jones ended up on the IR, huh? Really? Wait a second. I thought that y'all told me that there's nothing to see here, no conspiracies. They're all excited to have them on the roster, huh? They have done every single calculated thing possible to not have them be a part of this team, and yet you all still think they want them on this team. They brought, again, clean up procedure. No problem. We can do it in January, right? No, nope, can't do it then. Well, what about February? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I know. I know when we'll do it. We'll do it right as it's time to have our first mandatory mini camp. Not OTAs, not the draft, not the combine, not the regular end of the regular season. No, 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 no. The best time to have it is let's have it at the start of mandatory mini camp. And then we'll just put them on the pup list for training camp. But but remember, he can come back at any time. Oh, I mean, he showed up the last week of training camp and the last preseason game, got in against Jacksonville. He sure looked hurt, didn't he? Played all of the first quarter, played a whole bunch of snaps. Looked like he was struggling out there, right? He was, I was our shoulder and all that, couldn't do anything, right? Couldn't hit anybody, right? Oh, and then magically showed up on the IR the first week of the season where he's out the first month. But again, I understand. Y'all tell me, oh, no, no, that this isn't calculated. They want him on the roster. He's going to be fine and everything like that. For those of you that believe that, give me a follow on my Twitter page. DM me. I have some oceanfront property in the state of Iowa that I want to talk to you about selling. Because this franchise has gone out of its way to calculate not playing Deion Jones not having him a part of all this. When I was out at training camp, okay, when Deion Jones was there on the pup list, physically unable to perform list, the only guys that were further away from the team doing work were the guys that were mowing the field. The guys that were on some riding lawnmowers about half a mile away. Those guys were as close to the field as Deion Jones was who's way down doing some work on his own and stuff like that. But I, I understand nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. No, no, no. They want him on the squad. He's going to be fine. He fits the scheme. They want to play him. Really? So how hurt did he look? In the, did, did, did anybody on the broadcast or anybody ever make a comment that said, 
boy, Dion's really struggling out there. He doesn't look like he's healthy at all out there. Did you hear any of that? Nah. They played him a whole bunch of snaps, and he was out there running around doing things. Now, we'll talk more about this in just a second. But first, my friends over at betonline.net, did you see we were loaded up with college football action last night? NFL is right around the corner. Baseball pennant race is coming down the stretch. Look, <clears throat> Bet Online is your number one source for all of your sports wagering information. You need scores, you need podcast news, you need wagers, you need lines, you need whatever you need. Bet Online, betonline.net is the place to go. Everything is available to you in a handy, easy to use app on your mobile device, right? So take that mobile device that you can't live without. Head to betonline.net today and check out all of the action. Golf, MMA, boxing, football, baseball, basketball coming around the corner. Everything is available to you right there. And you'll get all the information that you need to bet smarter. Betonline.net is where the game starts. So again, funny that when this all happens and stuff like that, we'll be headed toward the trade deadline in the NFL. Because remember, the trade deadline in the NFL doesn't come six months into the season. Trade deadline comes early in the NFL season. But I know, I understand, it's just magical that all of this has been able to work itself. It's just one of those things, fairy dust up in the air, right? Mayfield, I get, he's been battling injury and missing practice and stuff like that, right? We knew that. That's why I said I'm surprised. I'm not, I'm, I'm not surprised Marlon Davidson and Jalen Mayfield went to IR. I'm more surprised both of those guys are still here. And who knows? They may end up moving on from one or both of those guys. Mayfield wasn't going to start, so you're not really losing anything with him other than depth. And Marlon Davidson, you know, again, we knew this would be up in the air. But isn't it just funny? Isn't it just random happenstance that Deion Jones, you know, who we've been trying to tell you for months that the Falcons want to move on from him, that they would prefer – so it's not about salary. It's about scheme fit and all this kind of stuff, right? And I've said, I don't think they're going to cut him. How many times have I told you on this podcast? I don't think they're going to cut him. I don't think they want to just cut Deion Jones and let him go somewhere else and the Falcons eat a bunch of money and he goes and plays well for somebody. I don't think they want to do that. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, tell me more because everything I've told you to this point has worked out exactly to plan for the Atlanta Falcons. Worked out exactly to plan. Remember a few months ago, we told you, you know, the Joker is all part of the plan. Everything has been calculated in how they've handled Deion Jones. These are not vacuum. These are not moves made in a vacuum with him. He's not going to be a part of this team. They're going to move on from him. They're going to play Evans, and they're going to play Troy Anderson at some point, and they're going to play Michael Walker, and they're going to play those guys in the middle. And what they're not going to do is play Deion Jones. And let me assure you, when Deion Jones does get traded, I'm a 1,000% convinced at this point that he is not going to see the field as an Atlanta Falcon. Put this down in your little comment down there. He is not going to see the field as an Atlanta Falcon anymore. What you saw against Jacksonville is your lasting memory of Deion Jones. That's the last you will see of him as an Atlanta Falcon. If you think that this is all just some fluky thing that's had like this, you are insane. NFL, This NFL team knows exactly what it wants to do, and it's manipulating every little step of the way when it comes to Deion Jones. And you can keep your head in the sand. You can keep burying it. But I'm telling you, what you saw against Jacksonville is the last time you'll see 45 running around in an Atlanta Falcons uniform. And now we're starting the year on IR. Remember that simple little nothing to see here, quick and easy, little snip, little tuck, little tweak, right? That little shoulder thingy dingy, right? And now it's, oh, my arm, my arm's broken. Oh, I got to be out for another month. Oh. <sighs> Sometimes I told you so is just too easy to say. All right, when we come back, what an outstanding performance last night from the other Rookie of the Year candidate. We'll talk about that next. Hitting hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.